everybody, Susie Q here, and welcome to Q Aquatics and Exotics. Today I want to take care of a little problem that is starting to get out of hand. But it shows a good example why in a contained garden, it can be very healthy. Out in our waterways, it can be very, very dangerous. So come along with me while we check out my water ladder. Is it good or is it noxious? It can multiply so fast that it chokes everything else out. So even now the roots are sucking up all the nutrients that takes care of a huge algae problem I should be having. It's also depleting oxygen, sunlight, and space in my garden, in my water garden, in my pond. So I'm gonna take care of that issue today. I'm gonna weed through it, we're gonna talk about it. So let's get started. So this is just absolutely overgrown with Pistis estradiates, otherwise known as water lettuce. And I'm about to do something about it. Now I wish my turtles would eat this, but I do not believe they like it at all. Water lettuces. They might be called lettuces, but I can't use them like lettuce. And it would be amazing if my tortoises would eat it. They don't like it, they don't eat it. How great would that be to have a floating lettuce plant that multiplies at such a rapid rate that it would keep all my tortoises happy and healthy. Could we work on that? It's a floating plant that's in my pond and it is taking over. Now it serves a lot of good purposes, so don't get me wrong. It has sucked up all the nutrients and it outcompetes the nutrients, it outcompetes algae for the nutrients. That's amazing. Another good thing about this is it's a pretty good indicator when you have an intruder in the middle of the night. Look at this. I'm telling you, I go out first thing in the morning and I see these huge water lettuce pads flipped upside down on both sides of the bridge. Pretty sure it's a raccoon. Could be a cat, but something came in and was flipping things over trying to get to my fish or my turtle. It does have a lot of positives. Now the roots can make refuge for smaller fish. It's, they also hang about eight to 10 inches below the actual rosette, which is pretty cool from underwater. You see this? I put the GoPro underwater so that we could see the roots hanging down. It's pretty cool. And once I started cleaning up, I had to be careful. While I was cleaning out the plants, I didn't want to remove all of them because there's a fine balance going on in my pond right now and those roots are a critical part of my filtration system. So I have to keep a close eye on that because I just removed more than 75% of my filtration unit. What a difference, huh? There we go. I got that whole bag filled. So even though water lettuce has amazing good qualities, it also has some amazing bad qualities. So they propagate at such a, a high rate, the mother plants send off these stalins, kind of like they send off these shoots. They're, they're called stalins, where the daughter plants grow on there. But they multiply so quickly also, I don't know if you knew this, it has a flower. So I had to put on my macro lens to see if I could capture one or two of the flowers. Very insignificant, but the water lettuce has a flower. Yes, and each rosette has a single female flower. And there's a single female flower amongst a whorl of male flowers. This female flower is sometimes followed by a teeny tiny green berry. I didn't see any of those. They can be reproduced by seed, but it's not the main means of propagation. It's a stalling. And because these are so invasive, there are many states where it's illegal to have them. 
I would say that they're very good in a contained water garden, like a pond or a summer tub, some place that cannot get into natural waterways because they can be very expensive to clean up. They can propagate so quickly that they're, they become a thick mat and even boats can't get through. Um, they can suffocate out fish, suffocate the oxygen out of your pond if you let it get too thick. It's actually known as a federal noxious weed. Noxious, they call it. I call it this beautiful floating plant that keeps my pond clean, noxious. Between me and the feds, Never mind. Never mind. I know that they have brought in different um, leaf feeding weevil from South America they bring in to combat this invasive noxious weed. And a caterpillar from Thailand. Like I said, if it's a container like a pond or under a summer tub, it can be a very beautiful ornamental floating plant that helps with your filtration and helps with your frog and helps your smaller fish hide from the bigger predator. But even in a self-contained water garden, you still might have to weed it out because it will suck all the oxygen. It does suck out the nutrients and outcompetes the algae, which is amazing, but it can also reduce oxygen to a level where your fish are in danger. Why I believe it's not illegal in the state of Pennsylvania is because we get below that 60 degree mark for almost half of the year. You can mix it in your water garden with a lot of different things. I have cannas that I mix it with, the corkscrew rush looks really good. It just, I need it to stay inside my floating baskets. I don't want it to get out of control again. So now I'm going to monitor it. Anything that gets outside of those floating baskets, we're going to scoop up and take away. I've tried to overwinter this with no luck because because I think it needs such a level of light that I don't have in my reptile room and I don't have in any of my aquariums because I've never been able to have any success in keeping it even just enough so that I could start the next season off. So I usually go out and I buy three of them because I have yet to find a store that sells one. You can usually get three for, I forget, like three for five dollars or three for ten or something like that. And in the beginning of the season, my local fish store will I can bring back the excess to him and they'll take it. But this late in the season, nobody buying water lettuce this late in the season. So i got to make sure it gets destroyed. I was going to start a compost pile, but I think this compost is really only good for mushrooms. And it kind of has this odor to it. This odor could be dirty pond water too, so I'm not going to totally blame it on the plants or the roots. It was a lot of work cleaning it up. I let it get out of hand. kind of saw it getting out of hand and did nothing about it because I liked the, the pros that were going on. But then when I noticed I could barely see Gina's head, and here's Gina, <laughs> there's my, uh, my yellow belly slider. I could barely see her head through the water lettuce. I knew there were some issues. I knew there were some issues. So even my water hyacinths don't multiply at this fast of a rate. And there's some differences between water lettuce and water hyacinths. Now they're both floating plants, but I'll go into those differences up here in this video. There's good and bad. Noxious or ornamental. Noxious. That word just sounds so noxious. Obnoxious, invasive, to the point where States prohibit it. If it's not illegal in your state, then you got a choice. You know the parts that are good, do they outweigh the negative parts? Can you stay on top of it? Unlike me, I did not stay on top of it very good. I'm on top of it now and I will be for the rest of the year. So thanks everybody for coming along with me while I clean out my garden a little bit. 